Take a look at these content makers on Instagram and TikTok. They're garnering hundreds of thousands of views from these bite-sized videos that require just a few minutes to produce. And guess the amount they're raking in? We're talking between $10,000 to $30,000 monthly, contingent on how they monetize their channels. In this video, I'm not only going to demonstrate how to generate copious amounts of these viral short clips, but also how you can effortlessly amplify your brand and monetize these channels swiftly using a secret method to schedule posts everywhere with a single click. So without further ado, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and let's get started. We're going to employ two AI tools to make shorts and automate the process. The first tool we're utilizing is of course, ChatGPT and don't fret, you won't have to pay for the plus version. I've made certain that this method can be utilized by literally anyone. Once you enter ChatGPT, you'll see a screen that looks somewhat like this one. Our objective is to use ChatGPT to generate 50 sets of facts that will comprise various topics or facts for the shorts, such as psychology, motivation, relationships, and productivity to ensure a diversity of content. The main goal is to unearth topics that are easily relatable and especially shareable, as many of these platforms promote content that folks share with each other. The prompt you will be utilizing must be refined through testing because the secret of these AI tools is that when you enter a perfect prompt, you procure the desired result or the closest to it. This might require some testing back and forth. Once we type in the prompts, we simply click send message and let ChatGPT generate the facts. As a result, we have column one for different types of facts and column two for the starting point. You can adjust this number as per your requirements, but don't go for too big a number. To create more prompts, simply copy and paste this second prompt. Generate 20 more using the same specifications without repeating previous ones. This way, you won't have to worry about creating any repetitive videos, but now let's just start with these 20 and proceed. Next, we just have to copy the entire table and move on to the next tool. Let's visit canva.com. After logging in, you'll see a screen that looks like this. Once you're on its homepage, click on the search bar in the center and type YouTube Shorts. Select the YouTube Shorts template and then choose Create Blank Template to create a new template. For this, we'll just have to make a few adjustments to prepare for automated video creation. First, you'll need to add a video background. Click on Apps at the bottom left, then scroll down or use the search bar to find Videos. In the search bar, look for something like beach or sunset to find a calming ambient background similar to the example. Let's select the video and proceed. Always choose a video that works well as an ambient background and won't distract viewers from the text. To use a video, simply click on it and expand it to the edge of your editing window, making it the background for your project. This is what we want to achieve. Release the mouse cursor to apply it as a background video. Now the next step is creating the text overlay. First, let's adjust the video duration to about five to six seconds because longer videos than that might not be engaging enough for these short form platforms. Just drag the video down here to around the six second mark. Next, remove any background noise or music from the video. Click on the video, locate the volume icon up here in the top right corner and drag the volume all the way down to mute it. Now let's add text before connecting it to our data for automated video creation. Go to the text section, add a header, and select your desired text style. It'll get automatically placed on the canvas. This text is for the topic. Replace the existing text with topic and move it to your desired location. Now let's enter the text. Double click on the text to select it all. Click on color at the top and change it to white. Add a background by clicking on effects and then selecting background. It usually defaults to black, but if not, just scroll down and choose black. This will be your topic text at the top of the video. So just go ahead and write topic for now. If you prefer, you can also change the font. Feel free to choose any font that suits your preferences. If you're on the pro trial, you can even upload your own fonts or explore the Google font library for a wide selection for branding. Next, Let's duplicate the text, click on it, and select Duplicate. Drag the duplicated text and put it below. This will serve as our part one inch text, so go ahead and write that in there. 
Just double click on it to edit and write part one. Remove the background by clicking effects and choosing none. However, it's good to add an outline to make it a little more noticeable. You want to click on outline, set the color to black, and increase the thickness to around 75 to 95. This is completely up to you to decide. Now we also need the part two inches text. Just duplicate the part one inch text like before by clicking on it and selecting duplicate. Now listen carefully because this is important. You want to place the text right a little bit under the part one inch text. We're going to want the text later on to show up in the same spot all the time, but this step is necessary later on for the automation process, as you'll see soon. Since the part one inch and part two inches text can vary in length, and most of them will probably be a lot longer than just this little box, click and drag from the edges of the purple boxes of part one inch and part two inches text, aligning them with the purple outline around the entire video. If you don't do this, longer text that gets inserted later on will not fill out the screen in the right way. This ensures that text wraps within the box and doesn't overflow the video's edges, making it unreadable. Now let's change the timing for when our two sets of text appear in our video. We don't want both part one inch and part two inches to display at the same time. To manage this, right click on part one inch and select show timing. This will bring up a timeline view at the bottom, allowing you to adjust when each part of the text appears. For a six second video, it's a good idea to have part one inch displayed for most of the video's duration and then have part two inches appear for a shorter period. This encourages viewers to re-watch the video, leading to longer retention and higher watch rates, which is super important in order to make your video go viral. You can set part one inch to show for say three and a half seconds, which you can also adjust as needed and do the same for part two, having it appear at three and a half seconds into the video. Now we're finally at the crazy part. Not many people know of this feature on Canva and it's called Bulk Create. It now we've arrived at the astonishing part. Few are aware of this feature on Canva and it's denominated Bulk Create. It's time to link our text with the data which we'll be employing the tool for. Click on apps at the bottom left of your screen and you should locate the tool there. If not, you can also utilize the search bar to find it. The feature will prompt you to input your data. Because we let ChatGPT generate the facts in a table format, we can copy and paste it directly. So just revert to ChatGPT, copy the data, return to Canva, click enter data manually, and select the top left cell in the first column and paste your text. It will automatically format the text into topics, part one inch and part two inches, just as we desire. Now click done. Next, let's connect the data to the specific elements in your editor. Here, right click on the topic text and choose connect data, then select topic. Once again, you'll see these clams around it, which signifies your data has now been connected. Just replicate this process for part one and part two, but with the right source. With everything connected, you need to move the part two inches text and position it over part one because we want both sets of text to display one after the other in the same spot. Part one inch should be exhibited for the first three and a half seconds, followed by part two for the remaining two and a half seconds. When it's aligned correctly, click on continue down to the left. Now when you hit generate, it will bulk create all your videos that ChatGPT provided. Once it's finished, you'll be able to quickly export these videos by clicking share in the top right corner and then download. Make sure to select download pages as separate files. Pretty self-explanatory. You get all these videos downloaded as separate files. And that's pretty much how you can fabricate these videos. And if you wanna go the extra mile, employ some online software to bulk edit these videos and add a trendy sound to all of them. This will augment the engagement of these videos a lot and render them more captivating than before. It's probably possible in Canva, but we must persist so the video doesn't become too protracted. The result will look something like this. However, for these short clips, the most pivotal part is not how you create them, but what you do with them. Many creators will simply abandon you here and let you proceed on your own. But I'm going to demonstrate how to utilize this method to the maximum and effortlessly cultivate several accounts to over 100,000 followers in one month. We'll want to use a very special website called Buffer. This is every content creator's dream tool. 
It's the easiest way to schedule all your posts on all social platforms like Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, but with one click, meaning you don't have to do it manually on every channel. What you want to do is sign up for their free trial as well and create an account. After that, connect all your social media accounts to Buffer so that it ends up looking like this. It's a pretty repetitive, straightforward process, so I won't show that now anyways. Now, you just want to go to your calendar and click on Create Post. Simply choose which channels you want to upload to and insert your clip, fill out some captions, and then you are literally ready to publish it easily on all your platforms. And congratulations! If you got this far, you've just automated your whole content creation process and will now be able to surpass your competitors with ease. If you post a lot of these videos every day on every platform and actually remain consistent, you'll without a doubt garner incredible amounts of traction and views. Like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos about generating revenue online.